Hi everyone, welcome to our weekly dose of base leg aviation. So this week what we're doing is uh, just kind of a messy job. For those of you who might have capacitance senders for your fuel quantity, I have yet to find any that are reliable. In this case, it's an RV8. Uh, they've been in for a few years and they're just no longer working properly. Matter of fact, since we put a new panel in, they didn't appear to work properly. So uh, we are actually replacing the capacitive senders inside the tank. We'll actually just leave them in and we're gonna put the float style senders into this tank. So. Both tanks, in order to do that, we've got to remove both tanks. This is an RV-8, so not exactly an easy job. We did manage to get all the screws out without damaging the paint. And thankfully, Darian here has got nice skinny arms, can get up inside from and to the rear spar. And there's 21 AN3 bolts that have to be removed. So that's kind of a fight. Get your arm up inside all the inspection plates underneath the wing. Get that off. Then we've got to loosen up the old Pro Seal. You do that with a heat gun and just apply it around the outside till it gets hot and then I'll use a, a knife or something and it comes off very nicely. If we walk over here we'll show you where we are on one tank already. So here is the plate removed, okay? One of the things we can check for while we're inside on this one is that the service note is in for the anti-rotation bracket. So that's done. So we're good there. And then uh, what, you're, what we're gonna do is replace them with these, uh, these are old Stuart Warner 385 B and C senders uh, for the left and right uh, tanks. Vans has these, you can also pick them up at the automotive stores usually. And so you've got to bend the arm, they come with a long arm like this to fit various tanks. And so we bend the arm three and a quarter inches on each leg for uh, most the majority of the RVs, in this case the eight, that works. And then we got to drill a hole here on this plate add some nut plates and then you can see the float will go right through that hole and the center will go in there i've already put the nut plates on the back so when this all gets all cleaned up we're going to pro seal this all back together so no cork gaskets As a matter of fact the rubber gasket that comes with the sender we will ditch that and we're just going to pro seal this on our experience has been that these things deteriorate with 100 low lead over time and they'll cause leaks. So the best thing to do is just pro seal this on and then we'll let it dry for a few days and then it'll just be a matter of recalibrating the tank. Okay, next step, we've got everything apart, cleaned up and now ready for assembly. So what we've done is make sure and all the fuel's drained out of the tank, of course. The screws I've actually soaked in acetone. Screws have a little bit of a lubricant left on them from the manufacturing process and we don't want any kind of contamination there. So we soak them in acetone, let them dry off We've cleaned up the, both the inside and the outside of the mount here. So we're going to put the mount in first, okay? So this was just to make sure we got everything lined up here. We're going to take this back out. You can see how this, if we ever have to replace it, comes out very nicely. Sure it does. There go. I, I know it does because I've taken it in and out a bunch of times here already. There we go. And then, so we will pro seal this on, screw it down quickly, and then put the sender back in and pro seal it as well. So right now what I'm gonna do is mix up some pro seal, and then we'll show you how we put that on. Here we are, we've got the, uh, the pro seal mixed up. We're gonna make a nice little bead all the way around here. All right, there we've got a nice, nice bead with no voids. So now we're going to put the plate on. Okay, we've made certain the anti rotation bracket is tight. Make sure the pickup goes towards the rear. We'll get this on. And grab some screws. It's always fun finding that first screw hole. There we go. Got it.
we can stop for a second. So now we've got it on and we've tightened down all the screws and we got a nice bead all around the edge here, the outside edge. We don't want any leaks. Nothing like leaking fuel tanks. They just stain the paint. Um, ah, brush broke. All right. Now I will also take my finger and smooth this out very nicely. My brush broke. All right, I'm gonna get, you can't have enough gloves when you're using Pro Seal. So we're gonna get a new set of gloves here, another brush, and then we're gonna go around each of the screw heads. All right, so now we've got all of these screws on in the main access plate. So here goes the float sender, and, and just to verify, it goes like this, and it works up and down. Okay, so we're gonna be careful, try not to get any sealant on it as it goes through. There we go. Should work. All done. What a messy job. But you can see here we've got the plate in, Pro Seal everywhere, the new float sender in. So we'll let that set up for a few days, be few days before we do any uh, fuel into it, and then we'll we'll get them mounted to the wings anyway this afternoon. And then once we can get fuel in it in a couple days, we'll be able to calibrate the senders, and uh, we'll have a happy owner that should have a quality fuel sensing now. So anyway, take care. Have a great week.